Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to share with you what is the behavior that is expected out of you uh, when you know when you enter the UPSC. You know, keep uh, you wait for your turn in the waiting room, and as you enter the interview hall and and be there in the interview hall and as you come out. So so this entire process of uh, uh, starting from the gate that you enter from the Shah Jahan Road to the waiting room you go, the way you sit, the way you walk towards your interview hall and you sit outside of it, enter, be there, you know, do whatever you have to do and come back. So this entire process behavior I'm going to share with you in this video, my dear friends. So as you all know very well, personality is primarily about your attitude and your behavior. So here I'm going to talk about the behavioral aspect of your personality. Are you ready for it, my dear friends? Superb. If you are ready, say a yes for yourself or if you have another IAS aspirant by your side, give a high five. Are you ready now? Okay. Let's, let's get started with it. Now, most people, okay, before I would, uh, you know, before I could go further on this video, let me claim some credibility. Let me uh, share some of my credentials, why I have to make this video for you uh, or, or why it should matter to you, this video. Uh, I have had an experience of 10 years working as a soft skill trainer. I've trained more than 2 lakh people in soft skills. Uh, in, in most of the South Indian states and uh, I have I must have trained more than a thousand people now for different uh, interviews in, in at the level of UPSC at the level of state uh, public service commissions and all that my dear friends so all this knowledge I felt should be useful for uh, all those of you serious aspirants who are trying to clear the exam at any cost this time are you ready? All the serious aspirants, then this video is exactly for you, my dear friends. Only the serious aspirants, mind you. Now, uh, so today, see, there are there are several aspects of personality. Like I told you, primarily attitude and behavior, but you also have uh, something called, uh, you know, the knowledge part of your personality. How well you are able to exude confidence when you are trying to put across some knowledge or uh, you know how the knowledge flows from within to outside all, all these things are all as important as the behavior my dear friends but in this video I'm going to concentrate only on the behavioral aspect of personality is that okay all of you fine now uh, I have been there in uh, interview myself my dear friends you know in the in the UPSC interview I've been uh, you know, I have had this experience of behaving in a particular way when I was in the waiting room, when I was in the, uh, what do you call, the interview uh, room. In fact, one of the interview member did ask me, uh, looking at my, uh, the TAF, the as you call it, or the summary sheet, the bio data, uh, when, it, when it reflected soft skill trainer, we can easily make out in your behavior that uh, you've brought in all the soft skills to this interview room. <laughs> anyway, guys. All that apart, I want to now educate to you what actually matters for your success in the interview, you know, in terms of your behavior. Now, most people think behavior is something that they have to take care of only when they are in the interview room. Wrong. That's myth number one. You will have to take care of your behavior while you are at the waiting room only. I really don't know whether UPSC has some secret cameras where it is monitoring or, you know, it's looking at your behavior and all that. But then... <clears throat> Uh, I can safely tell you one thing, my dear friends. There must be really somebody watching how you conduct, you know, how you conduct or how you carry yourself while you are waiting at the waiting room. Because uh, in my experience, I've seen people who have, uh, you know, who have ex uh, who have uh, shown good behavior or who have demonstrated good behavior in the waiting room actually getting uh, more marks in the interview. Is that fine, my dear friends? I when I was. Uh, in the waiting room, waiting for my chance of interview, I could see so many types of behavior. I could see people uh, uh, chit-chatting, I could see people extremely nervous, I could see people uh, uh, exuding some kind of uh, arrogance and I also could see people who were sitting very diligently, you know, with highest level of dignity and honor and all that, my dear friends. So, maybe it, it does matter, my dear friends. 
to be on a safer side it's good for us to conduct ourselves really well when we are at the waiting room itself fine someone again comes and calls you yeah your chance has come you will have to go and sit outside of the interview hall for some time before your actual turn comes from the waiting room you go there's a chair outside of the interview hall you sit there even when you sit there my dear friends maybe someone is watching you let's take it like that let's conduct ourselves there also okay let us not be doing all these funny pranks there because uh, come on man you're becoming you're, you're taking up the top job in the country maybe country expects more out of you yeah is country justified in doing that so take care of yourself don't become too conscious you shouldn't become so conscious of your behavior that you know in your over emphasis or your over concentration on behavior you do not you should not end up compromising with everything else are you connecting to what i'm trying to tell you my dear friends perfect got that superb now so the, the, the guy whose interview had to happen is just before you who has gone he is completed with it now he comes out and you are waiting for your turn and from within the room uh, sound comes yeah come in it will sound like this or maybe there is a bell or i don't know how it has changed now because uh, my interview happened more than 8 years ago my dear friends now <clears throat> mm, when you are called in how do you enter that is again your behavior see in this video i'm not going to talk about the attire that you have to wear the way you have to wear a tie or which kind of blazer you or which color of blazer you have to all that i'm not going to get into now my dear friends i'm just going to talk about you know the gestures the eye contact or the way you carry yourself fair enough is that okay my dear friends now you uh, so when the voice comes and you have to enter <clears throat> you would do this first you would actually you know you you don't open the door at once but you there is this uh, handle right you just you just use that handle I mean make some sound out of it gentle sound and push the door a little ahead my dear friends just so much so that you are visible to the interviewers they would again say yes yes come in now that's when you actually enter and as soon as you enter you you allow the door to get gently closed behind you without actually turning like this is that okay my dear friends all right you are you are closing the door like this after you come in and then <clears throat> as you take the first step you are going to look very confidently at the chairman and and wish him good morning sir or whichever part of the day it is in fact there is a, a you know the etiquette suggests that even if it is afternoon if you are seeing someone for the first time you can wish them as good morning but to be on a safer side not to invite questions from the interviewers like okay it's afternoon you are wishing good morning and all that you can safely wish them based on uh, whatever time it is in the day is that okay my dear friends fair enough so wish the chairman first good morning sir and wish all the other members with again highest level of confidence mixed with humility look at here guys your confidence should never come across as arrogance remember this your confidence should never come across as arrogance got that so your confidence should always be blend with humility got that what i'm trying to tell you so you you wish them as good morning sir and good morning sir good morning sir and as you wish them all if there is a lady member you would wish her as good morning ma'am if she is a chairman you wish her first some say hey if there is a lady member and if the chairman is uh, a male uh, person you should first wish the lady member actually i mean from all the behavioral trainers from whom i have learned uh, about uh, the interview behavior and all that that is not a rule my dear friends probably people have told you that you should always wish, wish the chairman first and among all the other members you can wish her first is that okay don't have the clockwise anti clockwise thing yeah after wishing the chairman first wish the lady member and then you can wish all others is that okay my dear friends connecting to what i'm trying to tell you absolutely okay now having wished them with a very high level of confidence and humility you take another step and uh, they are already prompting you but remember till they ask you to sit down don't sit down my dear friends fair enough till they ask you to sit down don't sit down hmm? now uh, you you walk closer to the chair 
but you know be gentle till they have asked you to sit down just don't sit down just keep smiling at them they ask they will they will ask you to sit down yeah please sit down then that's when you first thank them whoever would have asked you to sit down i mean generally the chairman does sometimes any other member also does it my dear friends in such a case you will have to first thank them thank you sir and then you take your seat now as you take your seat there is an important uh, aspect of behavior that you will have to take into consideration which most people don't know my dear friends if you when you actually go to your interview you will be surprised upsc would have designed this chair where the candidate sits in a particular way to to demonstrate to the interviewers what is the self image he carries of himself are you connecting what is the self value that he attaches to himself it will be you know generally broader okay it will be generally broader and uh, most people only sit to the half of it are you connecting you know in in their in their attempt in their efforts to impress the board that they are very subservient they are very uh, polite and all that my dear friends they end up actually sitting only to half of the chair which is very very wrong my dear friends okay the, the minute the second the board looks at you sitting like that they already know you know in your mind that you are still not ready to become an ias are you connecting to what i am trying to tell you my dear friends you are still not ready for that real chair in your life fair enough are you connecting to what i am trying to tell you so sit full my dear friends but again it shouldn't appear like being arrogant that's one thing that you should always take care of are you connecting to what i am trying to tell you my dear friends superb now so you have taken care of the sitting posture the the best thing to do is you know take both your hands and first rest it on your lap my dear friends this gives you a lot of calmness okay and it's very safe rather than trying to adjust yourself to the chair and you know trying to keep it here there and making pranks there just just safely place it on your lap now the questions will start whenever the questions start my dear friends you may use your hand gestures but don't make it too animated my dear friends is that okay are you connecting to what i'm trying to tell you don't make it too animated as in your right hand should not go like this and the left hand like this and all that it should be within a small zone got that no i'm trying within that small zone you handle your gestures fair enough my dear friends maintain eye contact whoever is asking you a question okay first look straight into the eyes of that person humbly this is something that you will have to practice my dear friends if you don't know you you come to me i will teach you how to how to exude humility is that okay now <clears throat> look straight into the eyes of the person who asks you the question and then um, answer and as you are answering if it is a lengthy answer make sure you are looking at everyone else as well but in the in you know take into consideration the pareto principle pareto principle is 80% of the time you are looking at the eyes of this person who has asked the question 20% of the time you are looking at all others are you connecting to what i'm trying to tell you is that fair superb my dear friends now <clears throat> so uh, turn by turn everyone will ask you questions make sure you have taken care of your gestures your eye contact and all that my dear friends never ever show you know uh, what do you call guys emotions like getting pissed off getting complacent in any any stage of the interview are you connecting to what i'm trying to tell you you don't know guys there is always a psychologist sitting there hmm? there is a behavioral expert who is sitting there who is looking and observing the nuances of your facial expressions got that no, i'm trying to tell you so at no point of time uh, show that kind of uh, what do you call disinterestedness in fact most of you will not have disinterest but somewhere if it appears like that after all this personality what looks outside not character what is within so no one knows what is within how you show it on the face is all matters my dear friends take care of it consciously is that okay my dear friends now <clears throat> so uh having taken care of all these things we come to the last uh part of the interview where they end the interview how would generally how is generally an interview ended do you know my dear friends this is how it ends they are asking you questions and 
just like that bolt from blue the chairman would say just to check your alertness of mind remember this the chairman would say okay thank you you are like you know most people how they respond how, how they react to it what <laughs> are you connecting to what i'm trying to tell you my dear friends most people will have a shock i was actually answering something and i was anticipating the next question all of a sudden okay thank you this is to actually check your alertness of mind this is something that they don't do with everyone okay for some people slowly they would ask to get, go and all those things my dear friends but if you have been really smart in answering most questions now they would like to check your alertness of mind with reference to these etiquettes yeah because they know now you are already a 200 marks product they want to see if they can give that extra 10 marks to make it 210 and and ensure that you definitely get the top notch job are you connecting to what i'm trying to tell you so no so when you are when you are when you get that shock okay thank you you don't don't react with a shock my dear friends know that you know it uh, very gently as if you knew this say thank you very much uh, sir or or if the chairman is a lady thank you very much madam thank you all very much for interviewing me for giving me this opportunity to spend time with you and and learn a lot as i answer your questions and very gently get up make sure you're not making any noises while you are sitting down or you are getting up from the chair and as you walk back my dear friends as much as possible don't show your back is that okay so try to try to walk like this as you're smiling you know you can walk like this go to the door gently open it once again if you want you can smile say thank you go out actually that shows you are confident you know most people how they actually go out my dear friends in some frightening way abba i have to go away from here got that when i'm trying to that should not be the thing with you yeah they, they, you should all you should you should show them that already you have an officer in you is that okay my dear friend it's like hey i'm coming guys are you connecting to what i'm trying to tell you all right my dear friends so with this i have broadly explained to you the behavioral attributes that you will have to take care of in your personality test right from the point where from the shah jahan road you enter the gate of upsc till the time you come out of the interview hall is that okay my dear friends yeah in fact i'll get into the more details of this behavior in my subsequent videos also i will talk about uh, the mindset see in this video i didn't speak about the mindset at all as an nlp coach i can train you really well in the mindset that you should carry my dear friends when you are in the waiting room how you will have to think when you are in the interview hall how you will have to think all these things i'm going to do it in my subsequent videos also i'm going to share with you how you need to consolidate and crystallize your knowledge for high performance in your interview all this anticipate in my uh, videos that are going to come in the next few days my dear friends till then apply all this knowledge be successful thank you all so much friends for watching this video vinay kumar our international nlp and ias coach signing off see you all in my next video